Hi guys, today is Saturday and I've been out of um, some African food. So I'm doing this really because of those that are looking forward to land and have been asking, should we bring this, should we bring that? By all means you can, but you can also find so much more here in our local African store. And uh, I went there, usually I always dread going to African store because you will spend money, you know. African supplies are not cheap. So for me to go there, hmm, the bank must be real padded. So I went today and I got a few things and I want to run it through so you guys can see what I bought, how much I bought it, even in those that have the weight, like the bags. So um, this is Titus Sardine, if you can see. I got six of these and I have my receipt here. One was $2.99. $2.99. You can do the conversion, but you shouldn't be doing the conversion if you are still out of Canada because it will look so expensive. It's Canada money that is meant to be spent here in Canada. So please don't do the conversion. For the shaving powder, I got a few of these as well. I got three. One was $5.49. You can actually travel with this if you want, at least to start you early when you land. So this is $5.49. It will be cheaper if you buy it in your local currency to start your life in Canada so buy this and bring along with you when you're coming I got a very little custard this custard is only my son and sometimes my husband that drinks it so I just buy a little one instead of the big one so this is um, 500 grams for the custard and I got it for $4.99 so small right but what can we do yeah they still have golden one <laughs> golden one that we buy yes i have somebody that drinks it in my house my son this is 900 grams so you can identify the weight um, wherever you are this is 900 grams, not really so big and i got it for 14.99 <gasps> this is expensive i usually don't buy it but because it's just the right for my household when they have to drink these things it's too expensive for me i cut it off my shopping list but because of my son, what can we do? I also got Ola Ola. You can't point and kill this kind of Ola Ola. This is 2.2 kg. 2.2 kg of 5 LB. So this is $30, guys. Please, let me check it and see. It is too expensive. Oh, God. But how many of these can you travel with? This is heavy. This is 2.2 kg already. These are your bag of. How many kg do you have to travel with? So what can we do? We just have to buy it here. I also bought some honeybees, which we call Oloni in Yoruba. This is 4.5 kg beans. I'm usually particular with beans because I hate weevils in them. So I look closely. I can't eat beans with weevils. So this is, that's about 10 LB, which is, guys, we can't get to what this is. This is, in fact, almost 30, 29.99. That's 20, sorry, 28.99. In fact, let's just say thirty dollars. You know what? For this beans, and if you are a family of six or eight, this is one meal. Oh my God! This is too expensive. This guy is four point five kg or ten LB as well. This is eighteen ninety nine. Let's just say nineteen dollars. And this is the Jebu guy. If you know where I'm from, well, I'm not from Jebu. I love the Jebu guy. This is. $18.99 Gary. They also sell the yellow one for those that like it um, from the eastern part of Nigeria. You can always find there are so many other things. Okay, so let's go to the frozen item. I got some frozen spinach. Frozen spinach. You can still get fresh if you want. But because sometimes what we have to cook here, you know, there's no time, there's no time. I really don't do so much of frozen things or pre-cut items. But for my vegetable, which is this, I just throw in the freezer and when I'm ready to cook it, it's easy for me to pick up and go instead of chopping it. But I still do my vegetables, my salad, everything fresh. I buy it and I cut it myself. So I, don't, I really don't buy the pre-cut ones. But for this, I got, I don't have choice because I might just feel like cooking this at any time and then going to the store to go and buy fresh one when I need it. So this is um, spinach. 
I got about four bags for this one and I'm going to put it in the freezer. Four dollar fifty. Four point five dollars. I can't find the weight but it's just a small bag. Then I bought this one. This is uh, I call it a wedu in Yoruba, but they call it jute leaves. Yeah. And I got this for $6.99, jute leaves. So this is really small, but I guess you can make a lot out of this. Uh, this is 500 grams for $6.99, $7. They should forget this point nine nineteen. They use it to deceive us as if it's less than the whole figure. Yeah, I got something else as well, yam. So I got yams. This, this is what we find though. So, and it's expensive. I got three tubers, not same sizes I guess. Some, because of the journey that it takes for this yam to get here, sometimes it gets bad. So, good enough, they had to chop off some parts, which saved me some money. Checked if it was good. And for these three tubers, I got it $41 for the three tubers of yam. Whitening fish. This is it. Whitening, whitening fish. I got the half box. Half box of the fish was, oh my god. As if I didn't know how much egg. We call this egg fish or panla, if you know what I mean. But this I got for $55. See, it's here. It's actually a lot. I think I got. I'm going to count it so I don't give an idea of how many I got. Oops, it's actually 12 pieces. And like I said, when you come to this kind of store, you are going to spend money. Guess how much I spent? $261. $261, guys. $261. That's how much I got robbed of. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Oil. I bought palm oil, red oil. I think this is the Ghana one. I don't know. They call it Banga oil. I forgot this. Two liters for 17.5. Two liters for 17.5. I know people do a big keg and shave by cargo and blah. If you can, please do. It, it will probably last you for as much as one year, two years. But you are still coming back to the African store here to buy when it finishes. Then finally, for as many of us that love pap, I bought pap. I don't know if they sell this from the African store, but I met the woman that sells it to us here in Saskatoon. In fact, she's and I got this for forty dollars. She also has a smaller containers of ten ten that she sells it in, but this is yellow pap. Hmm, I can smell the ginger. This is really nice, but I don't drink pap anymore. Oh, I've taken too much. When I was breastfeeding, I always make that joke. And then pap is always not interesting to me anymore. I don't drink it, I don't like it anymore. But I love the aroma. Everyone in my family loves it, except me. I would rather take my gari. I love gari. I can take my gari with anything. Beans, my my, um, akara, that's our bean cake. I can take it with anything. Then oats too, I love oats. You see a lot of my videos with oats, I love oats a lot. But I don't take golden one, I don't take custard, I don't take pap anymore. I just, it doesn't just resonate with me anymore. So this is how much I've spent. This is a size the pap because I saw her differently so I transferred that differently. But this is 261 for all of this.
so I guess I've been able to show you how much all of these are so make your decisions is your choice whether you want to bring some things or you want to buy them locally but trust me you'll still be fine there's not no amount of whatever you bring that will sustain you for a lifetime <laughs> because this is your new home so you're going to be buying so much more things are expensive right now things are really expensive what you want to things are too expensive so what do we do we can't start we just have to eat I have to go to cooking, I have jello fries to make, so see you guys.